Welcome to Kids Express. Join us as we see kids express their love for Jesus while developing their character. On Kids Express! Welcome to 3ABN Kids Express. Today we're going to talk with two brothers who have become little missionaries, especially when they go visit their mother's hometown. I'm Aunt Francine. And I'm Angelica. Can you guess where in the world today's guests come from? Can you identify what state this is? If you said Tennessee, you will be correct. Let's welcome Eric and Isaac. Welcome Eric and Isaac. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've seen something as big as this. Is this a cake? Yes. Do you know what it's called? The stack cake. Stack cake, and I, I can understand why, because it's layered up in a stack. That's kind of scrumptious. It has apples in it and it smells delicious. I can smell the cinnamon in there. Do you like yes. cinnamon? Yes. I can't wait to try this in a little bit. But first, let's find out a little bit more about Tennessee. Can you tell us about Tennessee? Well, there's a lots of beautiful trails and we go hiking with friends and family. Mm -hmm. There's a nice big trail that Tennessee has in Gantlipper. It's called the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Wow. It's really nice there. We haven't gone there, but we heard there's a lot of nature and black bears too. Black bears, yeah, and they like the berries. So when there's a lot of berries, that's for sure, that's when they're often there, isn't it? Yes. So tell us a little bit more what other sites you like to see in Tennessee. The state of Tennessee has the tallest underground waterfall. It's called Ruby Falls. And also it has the largest underground lake. It's called the Lost Sea. The Lost Sea, yeah. I haven't been there, but I have been to Ruby Falls. What do you like to see at Ruby Falls? Well, the... The water, like with the colors, with the mm -hmm. bright colors, like coming down. Yeah, how about you, Isaac? Um, the, um, the rocks. All the rocks, and they're huge, isn't it? And they have a big cavern. I mean, it, it's like a big open area, and so how they put the lights on, it's really beautiful. Yes. I like Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I've heard that um, there's a lot of um, good things in Tennessee, and uh, there's a lot of um, things to do in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and I've been there sometimes. You're right, and, and Tennessee is a wonderful place to go visit, and especially the Appalachians, and there's lots yes. of trails to go to, and so I like hiking, and I love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do like the outdoors. We normally go to a place where there's a lot of mountains and a windy road, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it kind of makes me nauseous. Switchbacks? You, you're talking about the switchbacks when yes. it goes back and forth? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of fun, especially when you're driving, too. You yeah. have to be careful, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about how you're sharing Jesus. We like to send neighbors and share them baskets of food or just to pray with them. Baskets of food. And what kind of baskets do you share with? What kind of things do you have in your basket? Uh, well, we put, give them some muffins, blueberry muffins, um, banana muffins, and the corn muffins. Oh, so you like making muffins? Yes. Ooh, do you help your mom with them, I hope? Yes. <laughs> okay. And so, so you bring them to your neighbors? And yes. tell us about that. Well, we give to them. We give them with the literature. With literature, okay. Yeah. For example, steps to Christ yes. or something like that, okay. Yeah. And we give them three, three of them in each bag to each neighbors. Okay. And a book, and sometimes, sometimes they do like it and they say thank you, and so we pray with them, take a picture, and and then we go to a next neighbor and then we do the same thing. So you're making friends with your neighbors. Yeah. That's very important to do because I think that is the biggest witness because they watch you. They know when you go to church on Sabbath, like you, they see your routine when you go to school or when you have different routines. And so you're already a witness. So if you're talking to them and you tell them, yeah, we're going on to church on Sabbath morning and you're welcome to join us. I mean, that leads a conversation, doesn't it? Yes. It is. So I know you mentioned something about um, sharing Jesus in the, another country. Can you tell us what country and what you do there? We go to, like, to El Salvador, not that it's a safe place to visit mm -hmm. like once a year. Mm -hmm. Once a year, okay. Yeah, um, we've tried to fill up a big box full of the nation to help with the church 
They do not have what we have, like Sabbath school materials, clay, mm -hmm. and toys to, to help with the church and the people in need. So are you saying that you and your, with your parents, you maybe pack up a whole suitcase of supplies to take to them? Is that kind of what you do? I, tell yeah, us like about it. Yeah, some supplies like clothes, uh -huh. like Sabbath school materials, like books, lessons. And we even put some little toys, like animals. Uh-huh. And even some clay, toy clay. So that they can make little sculptures yeah. with. And how do they, tell us about that, Isaac, when you bring it over to the church, what happens? And they're excited. Mm -hmm. And they, they really love it because sometimes they never have a toy like that sometimes. Or like, if we do a crab and they look like for babies, even to the bigger kids, they do it. Like, like, they, like they try like something new, like they never try in their life. Mm -hmm. like, there's so much that we take for granted, and when you bring some, some of the toys that we think, oh, it's babyish, like you said, yeah, they're just excited. They're like the older kids, like, because they've never seen a toy like that. Mm -hmm. And so you have to show them how to play with the toy almost. So they do, <laughs> they like it, they play with it, but sometimes there are some toys that they, they uh -huh. like some hard ones, like Carl's. Yeah, that's interesting. So tell us about, you've made some friends there and they weren't necessarily the ones that came to church. Tell us about that. Can one of you tell us, can you tell us a little bit about that, Isaac? Um, they're not Sunday Adventists, but... Mm -hmm. But you make friends with them, so tell us about it. Well, we, how we, we go to El Salvador and sometimes we call them or they come and then so they come we'll, over to you where you're staying? Yes. Okay. And we'll play with them. And then one day we ask, we invite them to, sa to South School Church. Mm -hmm. So they went, so they say, okay, we'll ask our permission to our parents. So they went and their parents did not give them permission. So they- Oh, they did not give them permission. No. Oh no, so what did you do? So they came, what we did is, we just gave them a Sabbath School lessons, like right there and, and the activities. And then we'll play and then go. So, so you were giving Bible studies and sharing what you were just doing at church yeah, to them in your own home. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that clever? That's something so they couldn't go. And how how were they? What were their names? And tell us about that. Their names are Reuben and William. Uh huh. And we've got some photos there. And they would love to come and play with us and hear stories about Jesus as well. And, That's wonderful. And then when they did that, Santa's when then the next year when we went, they came to our home and they wanted the lessons in the book. Can you imagine that? They're asking for the lessons even though they couldn't go to church with yeah. you. They wanted it. That's awesome. So you know what to bring in your suitcase next time <laughs> is to bring some lessons just for them. Yeah. There were a lot of people that didn't go to church and they didn't know what to do at home. So we 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 set up a program and we made a, 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 a online church. An online church. So that's another way if people can't come to the church, you're trying to figure out a way to bring church to them. That's wonderful. Yes. So you're doing online and you're you're doing it in your home. That's wonderful. And there's a lot of people that watch us, and that means that there's a lot of people that must want to know about Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That they want to learn more about Jesus. So I want to ask you, if there was one character trait that you want to be more like Jesus, especially now that you've been witnessing with other people, what's something that you feel like you want to be more like Jesus in? To help me be like more, more like, like attentive of love, like attentive, attentive like mm -hmm. to help others. To find the needs of others. Yes. How about to be more like when you're witnessing with other people is knowing what to say, right? Kind of, and, and knowing how Jesus would want us to act. But I know that one of the things that sometimes you mentioned earlier about people that say sometimes, yes, I want it, and sometimes I don't want it. Yes. Sometimes we all have that feeling of rejection, like, yeah. and sometimes it's hard that we feel like it's it's they rejecting us, but who are they really rejecting? Jesus. Jesus. They don't, their Holy Spirit's not there. And so sometimes what can we do when people have, seem like they're rejecting us? What can we do when we feel like rejected? What should we be doing? Pray. You're, right. We, we should, should pray for the person 
the way they can know Jesus sometimes. You're right. And we want to be able to pray for them. And so we have to keep in mind that they're not necessarily rejecting us, but who, what's happening? We've all faced rejection sometimes, right? We've all had, and especially Jesus, did he feel rejected? Yes. Even in his own town, he felt rejected. And that's okay because we need to be more like Jesus. So even if we feel rejected, we can, it's not our fault, but it's, it's maybe something that's happening in their end. And you, you're not any less valuable, right? All of us are very important. So even if you feel rejected, you need to get into your mind that God is with you and he's helping you to do more about what he wants you to do. So we can remember that we need to be praying for them yes. and asking for Jesus to be in our hearts, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm so glad for that. And you know, whenever we, we feel rejected, who can we talk to besides Jesus? We can, hmm. Most of us have our parents that we can talk with, right? Yes. Because they, can, they have a little bit of wisdom and they can give us some guidance sometimes. Yes. So sometimes they can help you how to handle the situation a little bit more carefully because your parents are always there for you, aren't they? Yes. And, and even if you feel rejected, God has a plan for you. Now, I have to say something about, I'm going to go get a little object lesson here. So I have a jar like this. And you see different colors, you see green? Yes. And sometimes I have oil and I have water. And I try to mix it up but what's happening? It looks like I'm trying to mix it, but you see little bubbles going up at the top? Yes. So what's happening? Does water and oil mix? No. no. So my point is that I'm trying to say is that sometimes, just like when there's light and we have the light of Jesus, sometimes things seem really dark to them and they don't want to be, they're not ready for Jesus yet. And that's why only prayer can help us be more like Jesus. And so we want to be able, so understand that if there's good, there's also negative and they can't mix. Yes. We have to keep our values. I think it's time for a question. Do you have a question for us? Yes, so okay. this question goes to Aunt Francine and our guest. Our question comes from Faith in Kentucky and she asks, what do you like to do in your free time? Ooh, what do we like to do in our free time? I like to read, draw, and sing. Read, draw, and sing. How about you, Isaac? And I also love to read, play, and be creative. And creative? Mm -hmm. Angelica? I like to cook, I like to play with my dolls, and I also like to color. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 1 Peter 2, verse 4 and 5. Coming to him as to a living stone rejected, Indeed, by man, but chosen by God and precious. You also, as living stone, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer a spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. It seems like some of our rejection is kind of like a sacrifice because we have a bigger picture in mind for God, right? Yes. And so even though we feel rejected and we have to keep in mind that Jesus felt rejected and yet we can look to him. So we have nothing to fear, right? Because yes. he is our example. I appreciate both of you coming with us for Kids Express. Thank you, Eric and Isaac. Yes. And we appreciate you joining us. And I think all of us can be inspired to find ways to get involved in the lives of other people. So think about your talents and resources God has provided you and use those talents for the good, even though we may feel rejected. Thank you for joining us on Kids, Kids Express. Express.